Buenos dias from Lima, Peru. We have been in Peru now for five weeks and had some of our best travel days yet with Machu Picchu and Huacachina. And now today is our last day, so we're going to be exploring some of the top tourist attractions right here in Lima. Our first stop of the day is Plaza de Armas, which is home to the Presidential Palace and to the Cathedral de Lima. We chose to come here first because the traffic getting here is crazy. The later in the day it gets, the busier it gets, and it's only noon and it still took us 45 minutes to get here from Miraflores. Unfortunately, there are barricades all around the plaza in addition to police reinforcements, all to protect the royal palace in lieu of recent protests that have been going on in the area, so we can't actually go inside the plaza. Even though the plaza is still closed, the churches are open and Cathedral Lima is free to enter. Unfortunately, they don't allow any photography or videography inside, so have to visit for yourself. It is time for lunch and it smells amazing out here. We're gonna go to San Vicerio El Chinito. Yeah, got it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay, I'm so hungry. Let's go try it. <laughs> we got a tip from our friends Drew and Alex to come to Churros de San Francisco for the best churros in town. And when they came, there was a line all the way down the street. So we brought our lunch with us to eat in line, but we just got here and there's literally no one here. So we're gonna get our churros and then eat everything that we have all together. <laughs> Okay, now there's a line. There's people piling up behind us and a delivery person came right in front of us. There's only five soles for two. Muchas gracias. Oh, gracias. they're warm. Mm. Careful. Okay, it was so fast once you order, they just give you them. But they're nice and toasty warm. I got one traditional and one... <laughs> <laughs> I got one traditional and one chocolate. Just on the street from Churros de San Francisco is Church San Francisco. Obviously stunning, but better known for its catacombs, which I had no idea what that was until Alicia told me, but it's an underground burial network with tunnels running through it. So essentially, walls lined with bones. Time for rapid fire taste testing since we have so much food. Inca Cola is up first, which is the very, very popular soda of choice here in Peru. You'll see it everywhere. First thing, smells straight up like bubble gum. <laughs> like not even kidding. It smells like, you know like bubble gum medicine that you used to have as a kid? It's literally bubble gum. Why is it yellow? Yep. I thought people were kidding when they said it tastes like bubble gum. It tastes like you were drinking bubble gum. I don't know why it's yellow. It's good, it's sweet. I don't, I don't really, I would not get this again. Okay, next up is dessert because dessert first is always a good idea. I don't know which one I have. Okay, this is the traditional. So it's a pastry-like dipped in cinnamon sugar with some sort of filling inside. Mmm. This is so good. It's super like dense pastry, so it's not really flaky, but with the cinnamon sugar and then the cream filled inside, very good. Mmm. Smell test, it smells just like the restaurant, which smelled bomb from across the other corner of the square. That's a good sign. It's huge. It's a chicharron sandwich, which 
which is basically pork with veggies. And it looks like they made it just the way I like it, which is very few veggies. Look at this thing. That's insane. That is oozing pork. It is like perfect pork belly. Very tender, falls apart in your mouth. Very fatty, it's wonderful. But it's huge, so I'm glad we got one to share. Crushed the sandwich and churros, and now we are waiting for Uber to brave the next phase of Lima traffic. It says seven minutes, but we know how that goes. It could end up being a lot longer. He's actually early. Okay, we made it to Huaca Buicana, but they close in about 15 minutes, so we're gonna try and get in. You also need tickets ahead of time, which we don't have. We're not prepared to do this today, obviously. So we're gonna try and fingers crossed they let us in for a super quick tour, but look at this. This is like a nice suburban area town. Here's a giant pyramid made of clay and adobe in the middle of the city. <laughs> No. Solamente reservas? Okay. I said no. Okay. My fingers crossed didn't work. We aren't able to go inside since we don't have reservations, but I wanted to share a couple of quick facts about this place because it's so cool that this ancient pyramid is just in the middle of Lima. It's from 400 AD and was built by the Lima culture, which is the civilization that reigned before the Incas. They used it as an administrative and cultural center where lots of offerings and sacrifices took place. stop here is along the Malecon, which is the boardwalk right along the Pacific Ocean, all up and down Lima. It's a very long boardwalk and it's pretty newly built. Tons of people exercising and running all times of the day. One of the coolest stops here in Miraflores is the lighthouse just behind me called Faro La Marina. If you guys saw our New York or DC series, you know that we love renting these city bikes. It's the best way to get around town because you're not sitting in traffic. And here especially, it's overlooking the ocean. Unfortunately, we only have one phone with us today, so we can't get two bikes. And I just ran out of data because it's our last day in Peru. So we're just gonna walk the boardwalk today. <laughs> sports that seem really popular here in Lima. The first is surfing, second is cycling, and the third is paragliding, of which we aren't doing any this trip. Our last stop along the Malacón is Parque del Amor, which is Park of Love. There's really pretty like love quotes and mosaics everywhere and a huge crowd of people. A lot of people. Let's go see what it is. All these people here seem to be here for some sort of like Nike skateboarding promo release. They're just playing a video and everybody's watching it. This guy's covering the event. I'm pretty sure the skateboarding video is just like background with this like same beat because people are rapping down at the front and they all went crazy when someone roasted someone else. <laughs> Do you think you should enter this competition? One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am your Okay, let's go. Lord. 
Just off the Malacone is Larkomore Mall, which overlooks the Pacific Ocean. There's a ton of shopping and restaurants here, most of them with giant glass windows. So we're gonna grab some dinner and a few drinks. I'm traveling to Peru, you hear about Pisco Sours everywhere, and we tried one on our food tour and we loved it. However, we were at our Pisco tasting yesterday. Our Peru hop guide, Walter, said that the Chilcano is the best Pisco drink you can get. So that's what we got. And we got the Italia version, which means that the Pisco is made with one grape. And then they also add ginger ale and lime juice to it. Probably also a simple syrup. Cheers, baby. Cheers. It's really good. I feel like it's a more mild version of the Pisco Sour, and I think the ginger ale helps like dampen the sourness of the lime juice and the Pisco Sour. Both are good. I personally like the Pisco Sour better. I got one with flavoring in it. Mine has Andean mint, mandarin, and pineapple. Whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's so like confusing. It tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> what? It's very minty. Oh, interesting. I've had like mint and strawberry drinks before, but mint and pineapple and mandarin and lime juice. I'm confused. I like it though. We have a couple more dishes in Peru that we still need to try because their food is just amazing. And one of them is aji de gallina, which is like a creamed spicy chicken. So I thought I ordered that today, but <laughs> turns out I got taquitos with aji de gallina inside of them. <laughs> when it came, I was so confused. So it's right on the menu, taquitos. I just was trying to save a buck. <laughs> This is the mystery meat. This is something that you must try when you're in Peru, but Alicia won't tell me because she's afraid that I won't eat it. And I've asked her to keep that a secret because I'm afraid that I won't eat it. So it looks delicious. I'm afraid of what it is though. Honestly, it tastes just like a very traditional steak to me. It's good. I don't know what kind of sauce is on there, but it's very tasty. It's a little tough, and I'm guessing there's going to be a reason for that. Can I guess? Yeah. My guess is that it's like cow tongue. Right animal, wrong part. Cow intestines? Nope. I don't know, I'm getting afraid. Hold on, song. Cow heart? I would have never expected that. How interesting. <laughs> So it's the same thing as regular meat. Yeah. It's just a muscle. Yeah. yeah, like honestly, it doesn't bother me. That was really fun for me. Am I good? Yes, you're good. Chilies. You look at me like I'm crazy. When I shut my feelings out, you look at me like I'm We are now at Parque de la Reserva, which is home to Circuito Magico de las Aguas, which is a huge water and light show that they put on every night here. I, I, I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are. We have no idea what's happening. The show started at 7.30, but you can't hear any music, but lights were on at that fountain over there. Then they started at this fountain, and then they stopped. And now someone is herding the groups of people somewhere. So we're gonna follow and try to figure out what to do and where to see the show. But the fountains are spectacular so far. And if there's a real light show with music and everything, I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. We ended up in a line. I think that they're opening this up so people can go in and sit or stand to watch the light show at the big fountain. But I don't think it starts till 8.30 and it's only 7.45 right now, so. I don't, I don't know. We still have about 45 minutes until the show starts, so I'm gonna try and run around and see as many fountains as I can while Nate waits in line and holds my place. 
Fingers crossed that I don't get locked out of the show. <laughs> And I saw four. I'm too nervous though. It's already 7.55, so I only have 35 minutes and I feel like they might start letting people in at like eight. So I'm gonna head back. Four of the 15 down. Okay, the line is moving. I'm like halfway across this walkway. Oh no. Okay, he's definitely already inside. Going to the end of the line. Oh no, the line stopped moving. Oh, I see him. There he is. Muchas gracias. They held the line open for me. Thanks, babe. I was like, I'm just going to get in the end of the line and I'll like find him inside. And then it stopped. I was like, oh no. I know, I just told her, I was like, she went to the bathroom, can I wait? And she said, yes, no problem, it was so nice. That is so sweet. <laughs> I'm glad I came back. There's something different about us. This is great. I was not expecting seats and all the sound directs this way too and it looks like there's like a video on the water, which is awesome. I'm excited about 15 minutes till the ship starts. There's something different about the way we are. The Water and Light Show was awesome. And the premise of this show was the celebration of the bicentennial of the independence of Peru. We really enjoyed it. We want to go to more of the fountains. We're freezing. I literally had to do all of our laundry today because we're leaving tomorrow, so no sweatshirts. But we have one more stop, even though it's like nine o'clock at night. We made our way back to Huaca Buicana because they have a restaurant that overlooks the pyramids at night and it's supposed to be lit up and look amazing. I don't think we'll be able to get a table, but we should get a spot at the bar because we're gonna have one last drink before we leave Peru. We got time on our side. So pretty. I don't think we're sitting at seats that are supposed to be seats, but it was nice to let us in. <laughs> we got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all I don't think we could have fit any more into our 24 hours in Lima, but we loved every second. That's why we're out until like 10 or 11 at night when we're usually in bed. And we're having one last Pisco Sour. And if you like this video, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passport with us again. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video for a First things, let's, no. <laughs> Uh, which is home to Cirque du uh, Brain. We aren't able to go inside. Hoka Poigana. I probably did this silly out of order. Let's you want to do it again? Yeah, I was like, okay. I was ready to turn. Obviously stunning, but better known for its. We aren't able to go inside, but. God, Alicia, get your together.